I am actually, I was the distinguished young woman of Wyoming for 2019, and through that competition, um, I met Emma Broyles. She was the distinguished young woman of Alaska the year that I was in Wyoming, and so I watched her win on the national stage about six months ago, and just the next day I thought, you know, if Emma can do that, I can do that too. This is my first competition like this in Miss, Miss America, besides that one competition that I did. I'm really excited because I get to travel and watch my team compete um, on the national stage, and then also go to my orientation. I'm sure I will be practicing interview questions, refining my talent, working on my social impact initiative. It's going to be a very busy summer. It is so much more than a pretty face. Um, the Miss America organization is moving into Miss America 2.0, this new era, um, a very progressive era, where we are no longer judged on physical appearance. Um, so it is about um, your leadership, it is about your public appearance, your public speaking abilities, um, your intelligence, and I think that's a really great thing about the organization. When I teach dance classes, a lot of the time my students will talk about things that they don't like about themselves. We'll start doing a dance step and they'll say, I don't really like my legs, or I think I have a very round tummy and I don't like that. And I think that that's a really saddening thing to me to hear them um, talk like that and talk about their bodies like that. And so I started to have the idea that maybe I could use dance to make students feel a little bit more comfortable um, in their body and, and recognize their capabilities. I'm studying musical theater performance and then I have double minors in political science and honors as well as a certification in American Sign Language. I just have so many interests. Uh, I just continue to add on different minors and, and concentrations. Uh, my career goal is to be a CNN reporter. I feel like that's a great way to incorporate my love for performing in theater with my passion for politics and my interest in media and public relations. I would say if you're wanting to enter the competition but feeling maybe like you don't look a certain way, like a certain beauty standard, please remember that this is not a competition judged on physical appearance and that this is a competition for all women of all body types, of all races, of all shapes and sizes and heights. Um, and so really don't let that stop you. Um, and I'm always happy to talk with people that are wanting to join the organization. Presented by Jill Bates and the Best Team. For all your real estate needs, contact Best Real Estate, 675-2378. That's 675-BEST.